So I have here a few of the owl sketches that I've done. And I love this owl here that's all shaded and has a little bit of pastel going on too. And I'm just going to cut that out and add it to my sketchbook here. And I just have a 11 by 14 inch sketchbook. It's pretty nice paper. It's kind of like the hot pressed watercolor paper. So it's a bit thicker and really nice for doing um, like a lot of gluing and painting on top. And I think I'm just going to glue this guy down in the center. And I just use the golden gel medium for that, but you could use whatever kind of glue you happen to have around. And he just fits nicely in the center there. And I think then I'll just start adding things around him and sort of build his scene. I can kind of already see it almost looks like there's a tree behind him or something. So I think I'll sort of go with that and um, just build layers and some color and draw on the horizon line to sort of give him his place and then keep going with that tree and i like just using the marks all pencil for this um i love using pencil it just is really fun to kind of sketch i'm so used to painting all the time so it's fun to sort of just really let all of the lines show through and especially when you're using uh, a drawing like this owl um it's a it's sort of nice to keep the sketched look going and whenever i draw trees it's pretty random just sort of whatever shapes um, come together and i find that as i keep adding stuff and adding layers um, that is what brings it together so it usually feels a little bit weird at first but i'll just keep keep going and adding different things and I have here my uh, Sharpie acrylic paint markers, which are really fun for adding different patterns and um, sort of, I love just doing polka dots. It's kind of therapeutic to just draw polka dots or lines or, you know, wavy lines or whatever. And these work really well on top of paint or just on, you know, dry paper like this. And you can kind of just fill in areas. It's great for adding whites to the uh, pupils of the eyes too and the whites around the eyes and it really just sort of stands out and I love I just have the white and black here which I really love so I'm just going to keep going and embellishing this owl and see what happens as I go along easy to believe that there's a light on at the end of the snow Just make some tea and take the back seat Let everything unravel in the glow
So I'm really liking where this owl is going and I feel like there's just a little too much white space in the background. I want to darken it up so that it um, balances with the darkness of the water at the bottom. And I'm just sort of, I've put some water on my brush and I'm taking the green that is left over and doing a light wash. And I have this, the Shiva oil paint stick. This is the white and I'm just going to kind of go in and mark out some highlights and give things a little definition. Um, it's always nice to have a little bit of light right next to something dark like in these trees and it really makes them pop. So I really like the way that that's going. So now I think I want to um, make my, my owl stand out a bit more. Um, just give him a little bit of definition and enhance some of the lines that I'm that I'm already liking. So I'll just use my pit pen to um, just thinly draw some lines to define the eyes and embellish him a little bit more. And especially this wing and sort of the collar around his neck, I like to keep the lines really loose and uh, Sometimes I'll use India ink for um, defining my characters, but this guy is so delicate, I kind of just want to use the pit pen for that. And uh, the black works really nicely since the whole rest of the piece is so dark. It keeps everything in balance. <laughs> 